My name is Emily Goldman and I'm the Accreditation Coordinator for SAIS. I have been in correspondence with you over the past few months and wanted to say thank you for taking the time to serve SAIS, the independent school community, and your particular school. In this short video, we will show you what you need to know to prepare to use the SAIS accreditation portal to access the school's response to standards and the school's report for growth. The portal is also the tool used by the chair and the team to compile and submit the final visit report. Damian Cavanaugh will be your host and your guide through the video. He is responsible for training schools and chairs and getting everyone on the same page to support the school's mission. Thanks, Emily. There are many people involved in making the SAIS accreditation process as successful as it is. From the leadership of the SAIS Board of Trustees and the Accreditation Committee, to the member schools who engage in the most progressive and 21st century accreditation process that exists, and you, the servant leaders who volunteer your time as team chairs and as visiting team members. We're a large community dedicated to the idea that each school is unique, and just as we treat each student as they're capable of becoming, each school deserves the utmost respect for the mission they're trying to fulfill. The school you're visiting has been working on their accreditation for about 18 to 24 months. The chair of the visiting team started working with the school almost a year ago and has already spent a day on campus in a pre-visit beginning to understand the school's culture, planning the visit schedule, initially assessing the school's adherence to the SAIS accreditation standards, and providing guidance on the school's chosen model of self-study. SAIS assigned team members who are from mission-driven independent schools and whose backgrounds and experiences can help the school further its own initiatives and goals. The school has entered their responses to standards and a narrative description of their strategic growth plan into the SAIS accreditation portal. It's critical that you make sure you can log in and access the school's information long before you arrive on campus. The address is portal.sais.org and your username is usually your email address and the initial password is SAIS2007. Please pause this video and take a moment to log in. If you can't log in, send an email to emily at sais.org and let her know so that we can get it working for you. Inside of the SAIS accreditation portal, click the blue edit button next to the school. Click on the school report, snapshot and standards, and click on view to read the reports that are available. These are due a month ahead of the visit. Your team chair has initially assessed the school's compliance with the SAIS standards for accreditation, so we suggest that you read through them and make notes about anything you feel you need to ask further questions about. Remember, for the most part, standards compliance has already been demonstrated, and the SAIS visit is designed to be formative and about growth rather than summative and about standards. The majority of the visit time will be spent investigating and addressing the school community's strategic growth mindset and its alignment with its mission how they decided to study themselves, and what they realized about themselves through the process. As you read through the school's narrative description in their school report, focus on the questions they asked of themselves with respect to each of their strategic initiatives. Where are they? Where do they want to go? How will they get there? And what measures will they use to chart their progress? The questions that the school asked of itself match the sections of the visit report where your narratives, commendations, and recommendations will help guide the school in their own pursuit of excellence. Commendations and recommendations should be meaningful and well-written, things that the school might already be thinking about or questions the school could focus on. As you meet with stakeholder groups and visit around campus, be mindful of the goals the school set for itself and the process they underwent to get there. You may want to ask similar questions of all stakeholder groups and keep a running list of responses to compare with other team members. Your chair will help set this protocol in the opening orientation meeting. Generally, by the end of the second day, clear themes begin to appear and the recommendations begin to unfold. There's no magic number of commendations and recommendations. The best guides to remember are, one, have you been clear in what the school should consider? Two, have you left enough space for the school to address the recommendation in their own way and according to their own beliefs and mission? Three, does the recommendation impact many, if not all, constituents? If the answer to any of these questions is no, you may want to rethink or rewrite the recommendation. And remember that short and to the point is more welcome than long-winded and preachy. Be sure to follow the format that's suggested in the help files in the accreditation portal.
Accreditation visits are very draining, so prepare yourself physically and mentally. Read all of the material far enough ahead of time so that you can digest it and be fully up to speed and serve the school well. While you're on site, remember, it's about the school you're visiting and not about your own school. Your chair will have some do's and don'ts for you so that you can represent SAIS and your own school in the best possible way. Put an out-of-office message on your phone and email if you can, letting people know that you're serving on an SAIS accreditation visit and that your attention is focused on a peer independent school while you're away. Thanks again for watching this video and getting yourself ready to serve. SAIS has many great opportunities to engage and learn, from our remarkable summer opportunities to our newsletters and publications, to our signature annual conference in the fall and HEADS Leadership Retreat in the spring. Thanks again. Emily, back to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you feel prepared and informed about your vital role in this important process. Thank you for your service. We couldn't do it without you and would be scared to try. Please contact us with any questions that you may have along the way and have a great visit.